Hello! Earlier this year, I was at a wedding and the groom asked me to help him with his tie before the ceremony started. And I thought, yeah, sure, I've got this, no bother. And as soon as I started fiddling around with it, I realized, oh shit, I can't remember how to do it. So I never want to find myself in that position again. So I've been practicing and I'm making this video so that I can refer back to it in the future. And also uh, I thought uh, you guys might like to save this video so that you can refer to it on your wedding day or on your next uh, court appearance. Okay, so here we go. I'm teaching you the Windsor tie today because um, this looks really smart and it's good for people that like symmetry. So, excuse the shirt. Um, I actually don't own any shirts. They don't really suit my physique. So I've borrowed my husband's unironed shirt today so we can do this demo. Okay, so you take your tie, put it around the neck, your neck, and you want the fat side coming down your right hand side and you want the skinny side when you look down coming down your left hand side and it takes a bit of figuring out and you probably won't get it on the first go but I like to start my short end about here but honestly it really depends on the length of the tie uh, how tall you are and also how fat, fat your neck is okay right so starting you take the long end the fat end I should say, the fat end and the long end, and you wrap it in front. So put that one in front, okay, cross it over. Then very simply, you're gonna put, put it up and through the center, easy. And when you bring it back down, I just want you to look down and bring it kind of down to the left side, down to the left side like that, lovely. Now the next step, stay with that long fat bit, and this time, you're going to wrap it around the back, around to the front, and when you get to the front, I want you to put the end through close to your neck and pull it down. And then you want to keep it fairly firm, but it's looking like this at this point. Okay, stay with the long bit, the long fat bit. And this time you're going to wrap it around the front and back up through the center. And for the very last step, you're going to bring it back down behind, in front of the knot, but behind the front part. And this is the last step. You should be able to see the tie forming before your very eyes. And then you pull it firm and squeeze it up <laughs> as you can see it takes a bit of practice the technique was right but every tie is a bit different i think this material is a bit hard to work with i'm going to blame my tools here anyway you get the idea and the very last step actually oh yeah it takes a bit of fiddling with the very last step is you take your short end and you should be able to tuck it in to the back of the tie to keep them nice and neat together. Hmm, there we go. <laughs>